heart beats just a little faster right now, doesn't it? As they stand alone right now. No cornermen. They're just ready to make the ring walk for the biggest fight that boxing can make. What's good from every block to every coast it's your boy shadow ghost and before i start i like to say man look i appreciate all the love and any support that i've got from anybody man since i made my channel um whether you agree with me or whether you disagree that's fine but i feel like that i've always shown just people respect in general and that's all i can ask for is a respect back so with that man um shout out to punch Shout out to Black and Brown, Rap Star, Major Key Boxing, Guido, Raider, LT, G Funky, Raw Boxing TV, HLD, Ignorant Boxing, H Money, Pay Per View Boxing. I think his name is Major Boxing. If I missed anybody, man, I know there's other people I missed. Like I talked to, like uh, DJ Saddam, I think his name is. It. There's other people, but um, I'm making this on the fly. Look, I, I appreciate y'all. We ain't gotta agree. Um, it's okay to disagree, but when you say that, you gonna come find my son and kill my son or something like that there's lines to me that that just is boxing man we could stay on boxing and, and, and not say that we want to kill each other bro so with that bro we we gonna move on right so boxing news 24 right shout out to boxing news 24 sean porter tells terence crawford i'll be ready in may former ibf wbc welterweight champion sean porter let wbo champion terence bug crawford know on social media that he'll be ready to face him in may Instead of Crawford jumping at the chance to fight Showtime Sean Porter, he let him know that he wants him to stay on standby and also hinted that he's annoying him. What this means is that he's likely holding out that he could still get a fight against superstar Manny Pacquiao who said earlier th this week that he's a potential option for him. Crawford isn't a good option though because Pacquiao, the Filipino star, revealed that he's leaning in the direction of former four division world champion Mikey Garcia. So with that man, Look, I look at it like this. Bud Crawford, I just want him to fight somebody. It's funny as hell, man. Shout out to H-Buddy, man. Look, he was getting mad as hell on, on, on the other night. He said, look, man, I used to be an Earl Spence fan. He said, he said 50-50. Then he said 60-40. Then he said 70-30. Now he's saying 80-20. And look, I, I agree with him, man, because if you look at it, what's, well, what does this new generation say? Happen? capping a lot of these dudes be capping bro they do more capping on the internet than they do fighting and look let's be honest when when we say fanboys like we talk about fanboys but they make excuses for this type of shit instead of just saying like look if you're a real if, if you're a spence fan you should be like man honestly yo i understand that like like he should just come to the table and be like look let's do a 45 a 45 55 at least or 60 40 at least but when you say i'm an 80 and 20 a dude come on bro that's mad it's mad disrespectful He's a champion. Even though y'all fighting um, up for legacy, you know his family's got to eat. I mean, when you say that, that's smoke and mirrors, and you know that you ain't really trying to fight. But you'll have people that will get emotional. They they, 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 they want to back their fighters so much, they just take logic out the window. They just throw it out the window, right? This is why I put at the beginning of the video, uh, the five uh, uh, the five deadly venoms. If y'all ever seen it, bro, yo, you need to watch it, man. It's a classic, bro, right? So it's about... Uh, a master with like i think it's like five or six pupils or whatever right and um they have these masks over their face when they're training he doesn't want them to know what the other one looks like so each one of them trains like a like 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 an animal or an insect one trains like a like a centipede the other one trains like a snake the other one trains like a toad the other one trains like a lizard i don't know if i said lizard or not and then, then, then there's another one that trains like a little bit of of everything but like i said they don't know the identity so later on in life when they're fighting the only way that they can do uh decipher who's who is if they're fighting and let's say the guy that's a snake does like a snake move and he bites him he's like oh shit you're the snake and then finally that's how he got revealed that he was a snake because he had to bite him that's how i feel like some of these youtube dudes are bro my name's lee ho what's your name friend <laughs> you're the toad <laughs> since you know that let's see who you are so come on, show your stuff. Let's see it. <laughs> I see. You're the centipede number one. They'll bite your ass and they say, yeah, I'm a snake. 
Man, I got more respect for you if you just tell me who you are up front. Number four, listen! You're quite right. This is why I always try to say, bro, I try to keep the same way I am here. It's the same way I'm going to be on Punch. It's the same way I'm going to be on Black and Brown. It's the same way I'm going to be on Major Key. Because if there's 200 people in the room, let's say there's 200 people, right? You're not going to, not all 200 people are going to like you. Not all 200 people are going to like you. I don't care how intelligent you are. I don't care how charismatic you are. I don't care your political views or your religious insight. 200 people, not all of them are going to like you. Somebody's going to not like you because, or they're just going to hate you because of your success. So if you are the same way on every channel, yeah, you might get somebody that hates you, but it's going to be the same dude. It's going to be the same guys because you never changed your stance. But if you're over here on this panel, acting a certain way to appease this crowd, and then you go over to this panel and you act this way to appease this crowd, and then you go on and you keep doing that, everybody's going to say like, man, Shadow was acting like this on Major Key, and Shadow was acting like this on Punch, and Shadow didn't say that. He said this on Black and Brown. Y'all going to be like, man, Shadow keep switching up. And I'm not going to be consistent. And then I'm not, this is, t I don't know. It just, it's fake to me, man. I just, I try. this is why, like, when I look at a fighter, I'll criticize a fighter, even the good and the bad. I look at Canelo Alvarez, right? I look at him and I criticize him. I'll say, look, I think he should fight Benavidez. I think he should fight Boo Boo. I think he should fight Charlo. I think he should fight dudes like that, right? But at the same time, I respect what he's doing because the dude is fighting champions. The dude is moving like, no, like nobody else is moving. You know what I mean? Even with the weight classes or whatever. They say he moved up and he fought Kovalev and they got on him, but then Tank fights up. He he moves up and wants to fight Barrios and oh, oh shit. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't do that that hypocrisy shit. I, I don't do that. I call it out for what it is. If somebody's if somebody's at doing a certain thing, I'm going to call it out on them too. I don't care. This is how I want to move. It's just the way I am. And, and besides, if you are changing up, you got to remember that you changed up over here. If you just keep it the same, you ain't got to remember nothing. So anyway, moving on with that, man. Look, I just think that Bud, man, I, I want to see Bud fight somebody. Because like Canelo, man, look, he's beating who they're putting in front of him. Um, I want to see him fight Sean Porter or Manny Pacquiao. I'd rather him fight Porter. I, I think Porter would give him, although um, I think he'll beat Porter. I think Porter is a good fight. I think that's a very good fight. I think that even though Manny put on a great performance against Thurman, it, it, was, it was a little while ago now. We're getting... It's getting a little bit later now, and we all know he's looking for um, a last a, a money grab fight right now, which is why he's leaning towards Mikey Garcia. I just want to see Bud get some get uh, some good fights in, bro, before he starts going getting a little downhill. You know, I still think he's in his prime. I think there, I think it's still a good a good age, but he's getting towards that that point where I want to see him really really tested. He should have been tested a while ago, but. We got some great boxing coming up, man. Like I said, man, we got uh, David Benavidez. Man, we got Chocolatito and Estrada. Oh, man, I can't wait to see that banger, bro. Look, I, yo, I keep getting more excited as, as this fight gets closer. Uh, the Hooker and, and Ortiz fight. I pray to God that none of these fights, that nothing happens with COVID or anything like that and where a replacement has to come in. That's the only thing I don't like about, I hate about this pandemic shit, man, is because we don't even know up until that they damn walk in the ring that the fight is damn, you know, because... We, we, we live in a time where even if the fight is signed, it could be all the way up until that night where, oh, we just found out that there's a replacement. That's what I hate about this, man. But anyway, man, listen, tell me what y'all think, man. Also, man, shout out to uh, everybody that is putting out content, bro, or just putting out content in general that's just giving factual content about boxing, bro. I don't care if it's something that I don't agree on. As long as it's factual and you're giving an open platform for people to talk, I respect it, man. I respect it. It is what it is. Make sure y'all tune in to uh, uh, Punch Drunk on Thursdays with his karaoke. I think it's Thursday karaoke. Make sure y'all tune in to the free smoke with my man Black and Brown. By the way, I want to touch on that before I leave. My man Black and Brown, bro, with the with 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 the free smoke. We all know that the the term free smoke was not invented from Black and Brown, okay? And when he has that free smoke on Friday, from from my understanding, and if I'm wrong, let me know. But it's like. Let's say, let's take the Crawford and let's take the Spence situation. It's like if two guys had a different stance on that, you know, that's an open platform where these guys can hash out their differences, but explain why though. Why with facts, bro? With facts, like why? Like, is it, you know, who you think is going to win or who you think is going to do this? 
because of styles? Is it because of resume? Is it because of their trainer? Whether it be uh, Derek James or Eddie Eddie Reynoso is their trainer or whatever. I'm just making an example. You know what I mean? But when you start disrespecting somebody and you say that you're gonna kill them or you start talking about people's relatives and stuff like that, and then you get upset when somebody does that to you, that's where I'm like, I don't know if I really want to mess with that or not. But you can't be getting on my man Black and Brown. That's his platform. He lets everybody in on that panel, bro. He doesn't discriminate. He doesn't care. He lets you get on. He lets you say what you're going to say. And if you start saying some out of, out of pocket shit that seems disrespectful, he's going to cut you off. It is it is what it is. I've never seen him once discriminate, though. I mean, he's, he's, he's put everybody on there. So, I mean, that's that's what I think it is, man. Look, as long as we talk in boxing, as long as we keeping it boxing, it is what it is. But hey, I'm gonna always tune in to free smoke. <laughs> man, it's, it's, it's definitely entertaining, bro. Definitely entertaining. And uh, I am going through some things right now where I'm going back and forth with appointments and stuff like that. But once everything gets situated, I'm going to pick a time slot where I have something every week or whatever. So uh, until then, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And until next time, this is Shadow Ghost. And I'm...